Good morning and good morning. It is not morning, it's evening. Good evening and welcome to Lorraine Avenue Mennonite Church's Christmas Eve service. We are so excited to worship together with you. Many of you have been joining us on Zoom for months now, so you know the drill. We tend to keep our cameras and microphones off during most of the service, and this is a little different than our normal Sunday morning services. Many of the elements are pre-recorded, so turning your cameras on during the hymns will probably only result in a tiny version of you up in the corner. So you can keep them off during most of the service, but make sure that you have a candle ready and you're, ca and you're ready to turn your camera on if you can for silent night. We'll turn them on at the end and we will sing together. Though we will keep our microphones muted except for the folks who are leading us in the service. So. Again, welcome and enjoy the service. At this time, Scott will lead us in a prayer. Thanks, Christina. Let's pray, everyone. God of prophetic promise, pro, excuse me, God of prophet, prophetic promise, your radiance breaks in on this wintry night. 
come to us with your tender compassion that we too may walk in your path of peace, in holiness and without fear. We pray in the name of the one whose birth a heavenly host heralded. Amen.
A reading from Isaiah 9, 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and a bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. We will continue with number 174 in your blue hymnal, Blessed Be God of Israel. A reading from Luke 1, 26 through 38 and 46 through 55. On the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. 
the virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of the ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am not married? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy, and he will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, even in her old age, has conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Later, when Mary went to visit her cousin, Elizabeth, she was filled with joy. Her words are recorded in Luke 1, 46. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his descendants forever. We will continue with number 192 in your blue hymnal. On this day, earth shall reign.
a reading from Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all in the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. We will continue with Away in the Manger. nearby, keeping watch over all the flocks at night, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary transferred up all these things and pondered them into her heart. The shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the, the things that they have seen and heard. Which, which were just as they had been told.
my friends, may you go into this night knowing that Christ is the light that shines in the darkness. And that darkness has not overcome it and will not overcome it. Go, my friends, knowing that God's love endures. And go and shine your own light out into this world. Go in peace. Amen.
Merry Christmas, everyone. Good to see some folks. <laughs> Hello, my mom and dad are here. <laughs> Good to see you guys. <laughs> She had her hair fixed just like her. Yeah. The ball came. <laughs> 